I welcome you to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create rich cap Dutch Gable. And at the end of this video, you should be able to learn how to create something like this. To create Dutch Gable like this. Can you see? You can see it here. You can see it. You'll be able to create something like this. Okay. Without wasting your time, let's keep the ball rolling. And in case you are new to my channel, make sure you have subscribed to my channel so that you'll be able to see other videos that I've uploaded. Ring the notification bell so that anytime I upload videos like this, you'll be notified that hey, Acting Consult has uploaded another video. Watch and help your designing. All right, let's keep the ball rolling. The first thing I will do is I will have created the roof with uh, the regular Revit roof. This is the roof the Revit has given me, but I want to make some adjustment to it by creating a Dutch gable. Okay, so the next thing I will do is I am going to go to the roof plan. I'll go to the roof plan. This is the roof plan. And I believe you know how I created my roof plan. I created it from the site. I will not do that now. I have another video that shows that. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can see other videos. Let me delete this one. And then all this section line, I don't need them now. Let me delete this one as well. Okay. Then I I will hide this one. Eh, and delete this one. Let me leave that. Okay. So the next thing I will do is I'm going to use line to trace the outline, the roof outline. I use line DL shortcut for detail line and I will use pick line then pick all these edges I'll pick all these edges let me pick it uh, anti-clockwise so that I will not forget any of them Okay. <clears throat> I need to do something quickly. The roof uh, hash is disturbing me, so I need to off the hash. So I'll click on edit and uh, edit the roof material so that the hash pattern is disturbing me. It's not making me to be fast. So no pattern. I click OK. OK again. OK again. All right. Yep. So it's now plain now. And uh, continue with my my tracing. <clears throat> all right i think uh, it's completed even if it's not completed i will know what to do so i'm going to highlight everything and go to filter check none select all the detailed line which i've created before this is the line i've created and i click ok i'm going to move them out by let's say 40 meter and press enter the reason i move it by 40 meter is so that if i want to move it back it's just a question of moving it back by 40 meter and it is going to sit exactly on the wall that is the reason 
and uh, I'm going to copy this out all right let me remove this okay so I am going to create similar CS for create similar that is the shortcut for create similar and I can mirror this and use extend to extend this and this go here and this one go here like that okay then I need another one here somewhere here CS for create similar and ex for extend 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 okay then i will need another one somewhere here don't mind the plan the plan is funny ex and all right so i'm done with the outline the next thing i will do is to model each of the each of the the panel the roof uh, part i'll model them one by one i'll model them one one by one so i'll select an existing roof and use create similar select my level let me leave it at level one now so that to make me to be faster i'm going to pick pick line define slope and here we go i don't need to define slope here anymore like that i'm going to pick all these lines and i'm going to trim them I'll trim them like that. Okay, I'll finish it. I'll create similar again. Leave the level. Pick line. Define slope. And we go like that. I don't need to define slope again. Continue to pick the lines. Until you go around. and i'm going to trim i'm done and i'll finish it I'll, while it's still selected create similar leave the level we'll, we'll set to it later define slope and here on check define slope like that then trim okay finish it create similar again while it's still selected and define slope pick line uncheck define slope like that continue to go and trim now finish it Create similar, leave the level and pick line like that. And I need to define slow for here and trimming. Okay, now let's finish it while it's still selected. Create similar, leave the level and pick line. Oh. And on check define slope, continue to go. Now this one that is mistakenly done, on check define slope trim, and finish it. Then create similar again. Leave the level, pick.
and the last one define slope and trim it and finish it create similar again leave the level and pick line divine slope here and uncheck it like that and trim it to make it loop and finish it while still selected pick line and continue to the last line is slope and trim okay then i am going to create similar leave the level and pick line Oosh. and check the defined slope and i need to remove one of them and use trim to trim it mm -hmm. and finish it i believe we are done now let's see it in a, in 3d yes that is it okay so that is our roof now if i'm not satisfied with the the slope angle it's a question of selecting all of them and take it to something like 40 degree and hit apply it will go up without creating any opening there is no opening anywhere okay then let me select this one and make it 40 i'll be using this one later to create my ridge cap so i'm not going to delete it maybe i'll move it to let me move it to the the base offset let me leave it at 3000 so that it will go under and this one will be on top <clears throat> and let me go to the roof level and highlight everything select only the roof and move it back you remember we moved it out by 40 so we are going to move it back by 40 so that it's going to stay on the wall exactly and enter that is it so if you are not satisfied with it you go to elevation and place it where it's supposed to be select everything and check only roofs and move it and let it go and sit on the concrete fascia let it sit on the concrete fascia and let's see let's see let's see okay that is that Whoosh. undo that is, i've done the wrong thing okay this is the one i'm supposed to select so i'll go to approach view again select the lower one and filter i want to select only roofs and move it disjoin and grab this this point and make sure it's straight okay now that is that let's look at it in 3d okay what is this dot doing here let me remove it that it is okay now the next thing is i need to close this place i need to close this place what i did was i modeled it as a family 
what I need to use to close this place. I model it as a family. Let me see if it's in this file. I, I'm not sure. But I will check. In case it's not here, then I'm going to load it. I'm going to load it from the project I created. It. I have used it before. If it's not here, I'm going to load it. And if it's here, okay, it is here. It is here. You can see it here. Dosh Gable. I model it as a family to ease my work. So I'm going to place it here. And I will go to the top level the roof plan precisely and this is one of them so i'm going to rotate it by 90 rotate it by 90 and press enter and this is it uh, i can see it's facing this side so i'm going to move it to here i'm going to move it here and out a little bit and that is that then now i need section i need to cut section here so that i can see where to place it and this one is supposed to sit somewhere here it's supposed to sit there and i also need section there and you can see i have section in this project but i'm not seeing it Maybe I've hidden it. Okay. I've hidden this one. On height. And. Move the section to exactly. Where the ridge cap is supposed to be. So that. I'll be able to place it at the right point. Okay, now let me go to the view. Let me go to view and place it properly. Okay, this is it here. It's a question of selecting it and moving it up. And make sure you go up straight. No bending. And this one is supposed to go up as well. I don't know what it's doing here. Let me move it up. Later I'm going to handle it. And let me mirror this. To the other side. From the center. Uh -huh. And let's see it in 3D. Let's see what we have created in 3D. You can see how fast I am able to create this thing. Uh, it doesn't blend with it. It doesn't blend with it because the, the slope angle here is different from what I have here. Let me change the slope angle to exactly this one. And let me check what is the slope angle. Let me go to the elevation. I'm going to use the line. I'm going to use the dimension to measure this the angle. And let me um, angular dimension. Okay. This one is 44. This is 44. So all these roof are supposed to be 44. Let me select anything about roof. All the roof. And I'm going to take the slope angle to 44. And hit apply. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to move all this uh, dash cable to where they are supposed to be. I'm going to move it up. I can use the arrow key to nudge it down a little bit. Alright, that is that.
let's see it in 3d whether it has blended yeah it has blended now it has blended okay 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 so we need it we need this here and there let me go to the roof plan while on the roof plan i'm going to copy this copy and place it here and move it back a little bit then bring in the section line and or simply go to this elevation let me see section line first and this is it here uh, all these are blocking me um, I'm going to hide them now because I may need them later so let me move this one down for now pick it and uh, drop it use arrow key to notch it down a little bit and to the side to the left side and let's see let's see it in 3d let's save our work okay it's fine it's fine it's fine all right um we need more i think it should be here i don't know where it is exactly now um this one i see here, and there's no section line there so i'll create another section line by creating similar and uh, go to this view where i'm going to cache that one okay here it is select it and move it up move it up like that move it to the side using nudging okay then uh, let me go to 3d and this is it here yeah? it's not properly positioned yet and let me go to this elevation using this uh, view cube and i will move it up i'll move it up like that okay that is that then it's a question of copying this one and placing it here it's faster than modeling it each of them small uh, separate separate can you see how fast it is to use um, to use a family to create this kind of thing? Okay, I'm going to mirror this one. I'll go to roof plan, select it, and mirror. On share copy, and now I can copy it to here. and go to 3d it's a question of moving this one down and if you can see now we're on back go to view cube and move this one down move it down like that and let's turn it okay it's not properly positioned yet let's select it and while on 3d i turn it and go to the right Oosh. no i don't want to say i don't want to edit it now okay let me highlight everything and select And I believe is the only one selected. Okay, that is that. Let's turn it now. Mm -hmm. It's better. Okay. It's better.
all right now i've been able to create my dutch gable then the next thing is um the ridge cap so we are going to be using this um, this one to create the ridge cap and while selected i go to the elevation and move it up i'm going to move it up maybe i move it up by four meters and press enter okay we are going to be using that to create our bridge cap so i go to architecture tab and select vertical select this this roof go to the roof plan and start slicing i'm going to pick the offset should be 150 and continue to go continue to go continue to go where you have the rich cap only where you have the rich cap and keep going keep going keep going keep going then i also need it here this one is supposed to go inward i want it to go inward okay i'm going to take it around everything around Okay, let me start trimming. Let me start trimming like that. This is how we are going to be trimming it. That vertical is used to create openings in roof. So we are like creating an opening. Are creating an opening okay i'm done with the edges the ones that are left now is where we have the dosh gable so those are the ones that are left now and for these ones at the top i'm going to remove them i'm going to remove all these ones at the top i'm going to treat them specially because of the nature of this uh, roof because we have the dosh gable so it's going to make us to treat those ones specially hmm, i believe these things should work oh Walk another one. If it does not work, then I will revert back. Mm, we're supposed to have another one here like this and trim trim connect these two together connect 
connect this to connect these two together uh, let's see let's finish it and see whether it's going to work let's finish it oh there's a complaint here okay let's tackle that let's connect these two together and uh, let's finish it there's another complaint somewhere okay let's tackle it again these two needs to be connected together and connect this one together and let's finish it and see wow it's complete and let's see it in 3d and see what we have created yeah see the monster we have created okay so what we are going to do now is to bring it down we are going to go to one of the elevations and simply bring it down we can even go to the view cube to go to the elevation let me know so i'm going to highlight everything make sure what you have selected is both the roof and the sketch because if you select only the roof and leaving the sketch you are going to have a problem and if you select only the sketch and leave the roof you will have some error so there are two things that I've selected now the sketch and the roof you will understand it when you start practicing it and uh, let's unshare constraint and let's use our arrow key to nudge it down it doesn't work let me move it manually on share constraint okay it's sitting 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 now and that is that that is our ridge cap let's see let's see what we have created oh yes we have successfully created our ridge cap the only one that is left now is those horizontal ones is only those horizontal ones that are remaining now and i'm going to treat them specially okay let's go to those let's go and treat those ones um, that are horizontal now let's go to any of the elevation and while on the elevation i am going to select roof and this time around i'm going to be using roof by extrusion and it's asking me to pick a plane click ok let's say, let's pick a plane that we can draw on so i pick this plane and the roof level is okay and i'm going to sketch and if i take it from here uh, 200 no let me use a uh, 300 uh, 150 what i've been using before mm -hmm. and supposed to be parallel to this let me try align whether it's going to align over here then let me mirror this to the other side okay and mind you if you are using a roof by extrusion it's supposed to be one line you only need one line and let me finish it let me nudge it up a little bit let's see it in 3d Oof. you can see what we have created so i'm going to grab it and hold the control and drag it and drag it there let me go to the front and grab the control and move it to where it's supposed to be that is that okay all right then i'm going to copy it to here 
and to here and there let me go to left simply copy simply copy and paste it copy and paste and grab the control and let me try and go to the top Okay, now I've done that and still go to the top. And while at, at the top, I'm going to copy and paste it here, rotate it by 90 degree, press enter, and let's look for the floor, the elevation. The elevation is back and we are going to position it properly move it to here move it to here and let's look at it it's a question of holding the control and stretch it to where it's supposed to be stretch this to where it's supposed to be okay then go to this elevation which is right and copy from here to there and go to that elevation which is back and move it to here and let's see and still select it drag the control to here and that is that we are done with our rich cap we are done with our rich cap let's save our work let's save our work okay thank you for watching the video and this is the much we can take for this video if you like what you have just watched make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel so that you will be able to watch other videos that I've uploaded on my channel on this channel I create content on how to use Revit Lumion AutoCAD and 3ds mask if you like it share with it with your friends and your loved ones and let me know if you have benefited anything from this video in the comment section okay see you in the next video bye